we'll, we'll try to start this. So what I'm going to do here with the tile, and you know what I forgot? I'm going to need a um, Q-tips. Okay. I'm going to need Q-tips. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work with um, this. I'm sorry. We're, we're not going to do the tape Okay, when you work with your, um, need a piece of tape. When you work with your, uh, with your sponges here, for some ungodly reason, they put the front of the tape to the back of the felt. So you end up with these little pieces in it. So the only way to get the little pieces out is to take a piece of tape and get the, the little um, pieces of felt out of your sponge. Okay, so you do that first. The second thing you do is you put your sponge on and you try not to pick up any more stuff. Okay, I'm going to do a sky again, but I'm going to do a sky a different way. So what I want to do is I'm going to just take this colors. This is, I think, pool. And this is sailboat blue. And you'll notice I don't do straight across. I, but I do straight across, but I don't, I don't, uh, color straight across. Right, I don't bring all the colors straight across all the way. But you bring them from one side to the other. Now, what I'm doing is pouncing these together. This is an alcohol ink blender, they call it. And I'm trying to get all of the edges. Now, see, I missed that edge. I'm going to have to start from the beginning again because I can't fix anything. I have to go get all of the edge and bring it up in there. Okay, so now I've got all of the edge and it's settling in. When I first look at it, I said, oh, it's got all these little dots in it. But the dots go away, they settle in. This is another way of just making gorgeously clean skies, okay? So that's the last I need with this thing. And again, I'm going to do kind of the same thing, except Great. this, yes? Can you use a pouncer on paper, or is it just You can use a pouncer on paper, yes. You may do this on paper also. The paper is going to, sink, the color's gonna sink in a little more, but you can use the pouncer on paper. I do it all the time. So now the second thing I want to do is I'm going to do eggplant and um, I'm going to use, I'll do the botanical so we have the same colors that you guys have because I keep on using meadow, I love it, but I couldn't afford to put that many in a kit. So now I'm going to hold it, this is called caddy, I call it caddy corner, but what I'm doing is I want all of the ink to flow this way. Now, I'm going to try not to use the little muddle the puddle stuff with this because um, they're on steroids, tiles are, and the puddles over mud, over muddle, they, they go back to white. So here I got, oh, oops, wrong color, sorry. Here I've got the, uh, whoops, and that's just happening what's happening. And acceptance is the answer to all of our problems. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. And I'm, I lied, and I'm going to have to use the little strolly thing. But as I hold this, it's, it's doing its, you see how it's mm -hmm. moving? And I'm going to have to just lighten up a little bit in here. But it's just really hard to just, tiles are harder to do than Let's do a little light here. Okay, and I don't know what happened here, but let's muddle that. And I'm gonna accept the things I cannot change. <laughs> okay, so now I've got this, this backflow that's happening that I don't like. So I'm holding the tile like this, and I'm literally going to take and pull off, sorry, I gotta do it here. I'm pulling off just a little bit of that backflow and I'm letting it fill itself back in because I didn't want it to flow. Tiles will backflow really easily. But the other thing is, this is only a background. And I say this all the time. This is only a background. I can choose to make this, and I can, this is the beauty of tiles. 
Golly gee whiz, I'm just going to clean this up and it'll clean up to clean. Okay, so I can, uh, you know, I'm doing birch trees. I'm doing birch trees in the winter, so I could just leave this white, right? Because it could be snow. Or I could decide that there's still some grass, but. I, snow's not like the top of the mountain, not the bottom. Yeah, I know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Technicality, or I could put grass in there, or I could put a field full of nut. Of uh, okay, so now I can put. We can't see. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. So I put now. I just put a little bit. You notice I'm still holding it up. I'm putting a little bit of a grassy thing in here. I'm thinking it's got. It's fall. I think I want to put a little bit more of a greeny in my grass. So I'm gonna muddle it. The blues are dry, no. Yes, the blue's dried. The blue's dried. Ooh, I like that muddling that's happening here. So I'm just playing. Can you move it back just a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm just kind of playing and and using my muddler here. Beginnings of a tree. Right, the beginnings of a tree. I'm gonna put a little more grass down there. Let me see what happens if I just play a little more with this. You know, we're just exploring. Oh, I like that grassy look right there. And that, that worked really well. Let's try that. Um, so now I have, can we see it? Up, 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 up. There. Okay. Yeah. And the glare is a little problematic. So now I have grass. I'm going to end up putting some trees in here. Okay. And the beauty of the, um, of tiles is that they will clean, as you saw, all the way back to white. So now I put this in my alcohol, and now I'm drying it off to the point where if you touch it, it feels dry. Mm -hmm. Does that help with the glare? No. 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 Okay. It it so worse. yeah. So it 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 feels almost dry. I think somebody's got to stand. Oh, try putting that sure, window yeah, down. Yeah, put that window down, um, or that door. So I'm holding it between my two fingers again, and I'm putting my, yeah. not that one, it's the one behind me. Then. That is the door. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's the door. Okay, we're stuck. Yeah, yeah. it's, yeah. It's okay, well, we're just. That might even be the skylight above. Yeah. Oh, high skylight, yeah. yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to put a, a tree in it. So I'm going to. Put my finger on it, and I'm going to pull all the way off to the top. And it pulls up to straight white. So I can put a, now, if I want to put a branch on it, I don't start up here. Because whenever I start, I have, you have the chance of it bulbing out. So let's say I want to put another, I want this to have a branch on it coming up like this. I'll come out and go over like that from the bottom. And um, I might even put another one here. And then I'll have to do it a second time because it's not even because it's so thick, but I can do that a second time. Slower once I've moved it off. If you do this too quickly, and it's not dry, it'll bleed out. Mm -hmm. So you have to wait till at least it gets a little dry. Now I can still see that this has too much green in it because I want to, so I can come by and clean it up one more time. See, it took all my green out. Now I'm gonna flow from this side and I'm gonna put another tree mm -hmm. in like this. And I think that tree's gonna have a something going over maybe like this mm -hmm. and possibly this tree can have a little more so that you always need to end off the tile you can't like stop halfway if you stop halfway you're liable to end up Ooh, that was too wide but that's okay it's going to have to live if you stop halfway you end up with a bulb okay and mm -hmm. you also end up you're standing we had this discussion earlier with somebody you're standing in the trees when you're standing in the trees you're not seeing the top of the trees 
We have a tendency to want to put the trees under the mountains, but the trees are only under the mountains if you're standing on top of the hill. Mm -hmm. So the trees are your foreground, and they're most of the time, unless they're bushes or shrubs, going to go off of your page. Okay. And so um, if you were putting the trees here, mm -hmm. in this area, they mm -hmm. wouldn't go off the page, but they'd only be that big. Yeah. If you were putting them here, they might not go off the page, but they'd still probably break the plane of the mountain. And then you'd end up with, because when you try to put this down and pull it up, you'll end up with a knob on the end. Mm -hmm. So this tends to work a lot better. So now I've got my general idea of trees, and everybody has a black Sharpie. I'm making them birchy. So I can take my black Sharpie and just kind of go up one side and, and make some little, and what you'll see is I'm not going one, two, three, one, two, three, one. It's not happening. I'm going back and forth all around and kind of letting it be, you know, back and forth. Because if I don't do that, what happens is, in the, and the dark side will be on the bottom half of, of, a, of a branch. It's not gonna be on the top half of the branch. But I don't want to do it on both sides because then it'll look um, really, I might want to put a little dot, dot, dash, dash somewhere up there. But So here I'm doing it again. Just And though I put the dark line on the one side, I put it right where the tree meets the, or meets the sky. And, and I can then, if I want, put some branches out from the tree. And this one could have some branches too, and maybe there's a branch. And you could stop these branches in the middle because you're not going to end up with a blob at the end. But you don't want to stop a lot of those branches. If you just put all of them stopped in the middle and they all look the same, it doesn't, it's, it's not, very um, interesting either. So here I go and I'm doing another tree and trying to do a little bit here on making it look kind of random. Let me put another branch. That one's behind <coughs> that tree. This one might be going up like this. Most branches reach up. They're not coming down till the very end. And then I usually ground them a little bit just with some squiggles and some, you know, try not to get too anchored. You know, you just squiggle and dot and it's fine. Not a whole lot. And if it's too, it's a little dark in places, um, you get a, a small, clean, almost dry, um, brush and I can I can gray out a lot of this with this small I don't want to necessarily do all of them but I want it to look a little more like there's some it's softer do you see how that softens it and so I'm just doing just a little bit not every bit of it um, this is like way too oh this needs a little more clean it off. I'm just putting dirt on it now. And uh, so I can do this. You have to be really careful because if it's too wet, you'll end up with uh, um, you'll end up with dots and blobs instead of just pulling this a little bit in and giving you a little softer. You don't want to do every one of them. Just kind of soften a little bit give you a little bit of shadow, just a little, kind of break it up. See how that break, mm -hmm. broke it up and then it's, it's much softer. And sometimes I even put a little bit again on that side. This is looking like it needs a little grounding of some sort here. Eh, I don't like that. Let me take it off. Oops, two, not, not, 
Oh, I like that gray. I like that little purpley gray that's happening there. So you just kind of play just a little bit here. Oh, you can't see because it's there. Right. So now I've got all of this, and if I want it to put a little bit of um, branch, a little bit of a canopy on it, I would take this and I would cover it. Okay. And then I would take a brush and a little bit of one of my greens. This is going to be, I think, limeade. I'm going to clean this up. We don't want this red, do we? We definitely don't want, oh, look what I did. I did that again. <laughs> I am such a bad girl. Such a bad girl. Okay. And I'm going to put a little more. Okay, so now I can, I always forget to do this because, You're you know, I'm not, sorry. Ah, there, there. there, keep going, keep going. There you go. There you go. Oops. Okay, yeah, you are. Oops. Yeah, I know, but now I have to do my... So this light green combines with what you already have. You have to be really kind of not real, really kind of easy with it. You don't want to do too much. I think that might be enough. I probably should have done it before I forgot that I was supposed to do it before I did the black. <laughs> do it before you do the black. <laughs> Because then the black, then you have to work on, oh my God, how am I going to make this mess go away? Which it's possible to do, but now I have to, you know, kind of make this mess go away a little bit. But yes, I should have done it before I did the black. It's still going to look quite lovely. So there you go. There's your canopy, right? because you're only going to see the very bottom of the canopy. And then you have your... But you can't do that on your pool? Or you can do that on your pool? Yeah. With a Q-tip? You can do it on your pool with a Q-tip. It will not come up to straight white. Okay. Okay. It only comes up to straight white on tiles or... Um, pinata, pinata. No, pinata inks don't always come no. up straight white either. What about clayboard? Huh? Clayboard. Not at all on clayboard. Not at all. Right. right. But that board, the, the board that we're going to be working on with the marker board, it comes straight up. So, and um, there's... Graphics? Mm -hmm. Graphics might come straight up. Um, the, the clear stuff, you can actually paint on the cellophane and it'll come up. Um, the Doralar comes up a little easier than the Yupo. So I do them all the time. You'll see a lot of them over there that I do on the, on the um, Yupo because you can get most of it up and it just has a slight blue tinge and the trees look like they should have a blue tinge anyway. So what I want to do now is I'm going to put a sun in there or a moon, it's probably more of a moon. I'm not sure what it is. So I've got to pick a place for it. And I think the sense of best sense of light is right here. So I just put my dot in there. One, two, three, straight down and straight up. So if I've decided that that's where my, my moon is, and I can clean out the very middle just a little bit with this little brush, and then I messed it up. Oh, it should not well, have been. Right, okay. and I can, yeah, you can use the other thing. Now I've got to fix it by carefully going around from the inside out. I shouldn't have done that, but it is fixable by the inside out. Yeah, that's kind of fine. Stop. OK, 
Okay. And um, then I can put, if I want to put just a little bit of some kind of a reflect our uh, shadow, the shadows would kind of come. Oh, I need more. Stop. I say you wanted to make that a sun since it's on tile and you're now down to white. You could so you put a yellow in a there. Yellow in there. It is it. really hard. So this is going to bring because it would bleed out into the blues. Because yeah. I mean I can I mean I can show you how it's really yeah, you don't want to it's green, it's right. really challenging. So the easiest way of putting a sun in there is you grab where's my black? Uh, you grab the marker. I was gonna say marker. <laughs> you grab your markers and you find a yellow that you like. This is just a sharpie and you find a yellow you like, and you take it and you put it in there. Mm -hmm. And you don't touch the very edge. Mm -hmm. and there you go. Mm -hmm. Because if you try to put a dot in there, the chances of it going farther are huge. Mm -hmm. So there are really good uses for Sharpies, but now that looks like a nice mm -hmm. sun, you know. So okay. everybody understand any more questions? Do you see anything this needs? So, Besides, uh, remember to yeah. do your Sharpie last. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so the only thing I'm doing right now, I could take a Q-tip, just barely damp, and go straight on up. Yes. Yeah. For the tree, you could. Okay. It may um, it may not get out totally clean, but if you want to use your black and do the black filigree, you're probably better off doing a dark tree rather than a white tree, because you already got the white in your mountains. You yeah. might. Yeah, I could. Okay. Yeah. yeah, try it. Try it first. I think, uh, yeah. Okay. Any questions for anybody?